Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a really cool and realistic reflection like this. Well, I'm not gonna show you how I made this photo in this video because I just want to keep it really short and just focus on how to make a reflection. But if you want to see how this photo manipulation was made, like this area, you can actually ask me and I can also make a video tutorial about that. So the first thing we are going to do, I just cut it, I just cut this part of the photo here and I open it in a new document like that. So what we are going to do is I'm going to open a new document and the size I will make it like 1800 to 2000 something like that which in my opinion is good where you can actually use different sizes depending on your photo and what you want to make so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just gonna drag this photo over there and place it just here the next step would be i just duplicate this photo by pressing ctrl j and then I press Ctrl T or you can go to edit and press free transform and the shortcut would be Ctrl T and I right click here and flip it vertically and I drag it all the way down over here and I press enter so we are already halfway through we have a good reflection but it doesn't look real because it has basically no wave here there so what we are going to do I'm gonna I'm just gonna call this layer reflection and the first step would be I got to filter well let's make a smart object out of it so that we can change the filters whenever we want to without any instruction so I go to filter blur and motion blur and I put the blur the angle of 90 and the distance almost maybe 14 pixel and we have already a good reflection here which has some blurry motiony Vibe, but uh, still it doesn't look really real because you still don't see a clear wave there so what I'm going to do I'm just gonna open a new document and I'm going to be sure that my document is a little bit bigger than the photo that I'm working on so I'm gonna make the width 2000 pixel and the height 2500 and I press enter to create the layer so this step you can actually save it as an action so every time you can use it so you don't have to do it over and over again or you just make it one time and save it to your desktop to a file somewhere so you can use it actually over and over again without going through all these steps so basically what we are going to do there is it might make no sense but you just have to know that it works like that there is nothing really sinful like nothing really meaningful behind it but the way it works you just go to filter noise and add noise and you make the amount 400 percent gaussian and monochromatic and you press ok the next thing you are going to do you go again to filter blur gaussian blur and you put the blur in low numbers like two pixels and press ok so the next thing we are going to do you go to channels you press only on red channel and then you go to filter stylize and emboss and you make the angle 180 height 1 
and the amount 500% and you press OK. Then you go to the green layer, you just click here. Then again, you do the same filter, stylize, emboss, but you make the angle this time 90, the height 1, and the amount 500%, and you press OK. Then you go to RGB so that you turn on all the layers, and then you go to your layer. And because it's the background layer, it's locked, so you just unlock it. But it doesn't look anything like wave. But what we are going to do is we go to Edit, Transform, Perspective. And you're going to zoom all the way out like that by pressing Alt and you just rotate your mouse toward you and you just drag these corners the down part and you drag it all the way this much depend how much of wave you are looking for and you already see by pressing enter you already see that you have a little bit of wave here so the more you drag it the more effect you have but i guess right now it's kind of enough for me then I'm going to the file, save it as reflection on my desktop so I can reach it easily and I press save and I press OK. So we have already our displacement map. So I'm going to show you what displacement map. So I already have this file, so I go to my layer, I go to the reflection layer, I go to filter, distort and displace. That's a filter that you can actually put some texture on your photos. So for example, here the texture would be some wave. But sometimes you want to print some sort of text in your in a shirt but you don't want the text just be flat you want it to have some sort of how to say some sort of texture because when you print it print something on something which is not flat it has some sort of dimension so that's what this displacement tool does so you go to distort displace and you make the horizontal scale maybe to 30 and vertical scale to 60 it really depends on the size of your file but we're gonna stick to this number for now if it doesn't work for us because it's a smart object we can change it simply just play around with the number and you get what you want you change the displacement map to stretch to fill undefined areas repeat edge pixels and you press ok and it asks you to open one file so we had saved this reflection file just gonna click on it and I press open and boom we have a really cool reflection here but you see this areas is a little bit white so what I'm going to do I'm just gonna drag it down here and I press ctrl T and it just gives you this um, formation that the smart object filters gonna be temporary off because you're gonna add some sort of effect on it it's it's nothing really it's just the information you will you need to know so just press it okay you see it's now gone but it will come back so you just drag it a little bit up that it goes under this part and this layer press enter so this whitish thing is gone so actually you can also make this part drag it a little bit down somewhere like that and boom it's already gone 
But we have one small problem here. I would be. There is actually no. It's just like s you have the normal photo and the reflection, and it's there is no real. How to say? There is no depth of field there. So here I use actually a trick. And the trick would be, I open a new layer. I go to my marquee tool, here. I track the rectangular marquee tool, and I make a rectangular. shape here almost that much like that Y and then I go to select modify feather and I feather it somewhere around 20 pixels and I press OK and I press shift and F5 or you can go to edit fill or shift plus F5 and you press enter and you fill the color black well that's already too much so what we are going to do first I press ctrl T and I make it a little bit smaller you can uh, move around this tools like this tool the mode Maybe you change it to soft light to see how it will look like. Well, for this photo, it doesn't look really good. Maybe it, if it was green or some other color in the background, you would have a better effect. So I just move around with them. And I guess there is not actually a good mode for that. So I just stick with the normal. I bring the opacity a little bit down, something like that. And I'm still going to make it a little bit smaller. And I press enter and we have a really nice depth of field between our layer and the reflection. So I hope this video helped you to find a good way to make a realistic reflection effect. You can always bring the displacement a little bit down, maybe 20. To have less of this reflection effect. You just play around with the numbers and you will get what you're looking for. I guess that would be the best. So I hope you liked the video and you could learn something. So as I said, if you want to see the process, how I made this photo manipulation, this part just right above please let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe if you like my contents and like my video of course and please tell me in comment below what you gonna what you actually like that I teach you you can also check all my photo manipulation photo in my Instagram and yeah that was pretty much everything for this video and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Good luck!